Good afternoon. Welcome to week two of the 1983 USFL inaugural season. Uh, the first game of week two is Arizona at Birmingham, but that has been delayed due to weather. And we are moving on to Denver at Chicago. This is a crucial matchup this week because Denver was shut out in week one. And Chicago only scored six points. Chicago is a very good football team. I don't know how they only scored six points, but they did. Denver, uh, the first team in the league uh, to make some trades, to acquire some help on offense. Being shut out, uh, not resting on their laurels, they have gone out and acquired from the Tampa Bay Bandits, Willie Gillespie at wide receiver, Frank Lockett from the Boston Breakers, and Jimmy Jordan from the Tampa Bay Bandits. So Tampa Bay, two Tampa Bay offensive players come to Denver. Uh, Denver gives up Reeves, uh, an offensive uh, guard, slash tackle, slash center, and a defensive, two defensive middle linebackers to acquire these players with uh, Tampa Bay and Boston. So Denver is now a 37-39, so their defense dropped a point. Their offense came up a couple of points. The, 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 the real problem was not points. It was they had no B or A receivers. They had all C receivers. So Denver now has added a, a much, I think, a much more sound quarterback. Jordan had a brilliant game in week one for Tampa coming in for um oh I can't remember the name of the quarterback now that starts normally in Tampa so Jimmy Jimmy came in at half uh, and, and actually played fairly well so they've acquired Jimmy Jordan so this ought to be a different ball club with Harry Sidney and, and Canada and of course they're they're strong tight end still hanging in there so here we go the flip side is Chicago this team is a 41-44 the highest defense I think I've seen um among the teams I've so far uh, played of my sets they have Greg Landry, who had a rough game last week with three interceptions, two excuse me, two fumbles and two picks, or two fumbles and one pick, or two uh, something. Anyway, he had three turnovers. Greg Landry did, and it really killed him as they lost nine to six in Arizona. They have Spencer, the rookie, Kevin Long. They have Tremaine Johnson, who led the USFL in reality in receptions. Uh, Paul Ricker at tight end and uh, Wayman Bugs, fantastic. So they are still the better team on paper. The difference is Greg Landry, can he avoid turning it over against this phenomenal Denver defense, right? Okay, so here we go. We're going to kick it off. Uh, Chicago is getting the ball first. And this is it. Game's underway with Brian Spillman, 45. I absolutely love this game. 45. Brian Spillman is 7. Uh, I cannot get enough of it of late. I don't know what it is, but I am hooked. I'm absolutely hooked more than I ever have been. Um, and the return man is Lenny Willis for Chicago, 63-31. He's going to rumble out for 26 yards, out to the 32. And Chicago scored a pitiful six thanks to three or four turnovers last week against Arizona. They struggled, actually, to stop Arizona. Um, they, they, they did well enough they should have won. All they would have needed was a touchdown. Unfortunately, Landry could not hold on to the ball. So here we go, and again, I will be calling the plays and the targets, and I will be assuming the quality of defense based on the alternative defense chart, okay? So here we go. Greg Landry's going to start this off, and we're going to pass to Jermaine Johnson right out of the gate. 26, Landry drops back. 17 is going to be A, standard. 16 is going to be complete for four yards, and that's what Landry needs to do. He needs to find his targets and move the ball. We're going to go ahead and run Tim Spencer versus pass. 64 is 18. He's going to rumble for five yards, and that's not quite a first. It is third and one. It's going to be run defense versus run. Kevin Long is going to get the carry up the gut. 21, trying to get the first. 22, uh, we're going to push this up one. Due to defense, it's going to be two yards anyway as Long busts through, gets the first first down. Chicago fans on their feet. As they feel things should be different this week, this is a good team according to the pundits. We won't know until the season's over just how that equates to record. We're going to pass to Ricker. Drops back. Landry looks. Fires it out. 14. Ricker is a B, so we're going to stay in the middle. 14 is 7 yards. Nice. Second and 3. Second and 3. They're going to be in a run defense, and we're going to pass to Tim Spencer out of the backfield. Modifiers for defense. 45. 45 is 16. Back 115. It's going to be a 3 yard catch. 1, 2, 3. Tim Spencer catches it in the flat, rumbles for 3 yards. That'll work. Uh, we're going to hand it off to Kevin Long up the gut versus Standard. 64 is 18. He's going to rumble for five. So right now, unless they turn it over, Chicago's looking good against this Denver team. We're going to pass it to Jermaine Johnson. 
drops back 33 Landry throws a beautiful strike uh, of three that's going to be 38 yards 2 10 20 30 and 6 first and goal at the four we're in the goal line defense for my game which means you add two to every offensive play no matter what and we're going to hand it off to uh, Tim Spencer on a pitch out the rookie Spencer getting to the corner 53 is going to be up ended 20 he gets three in the touchdown oh no they're at the four second a goal at the one all right, we're going to keep it. Tim Spencer's going to get the call behind Kevin Long. 41, can he punch it in here? 35, 35 is touchdown. So Tim Spencer, one-yard run, the extra point. Wow, Chicago fans are going, this is what we expected last week. They ended up losing 9-6. to six. Nothing has changed except their opponent. So maybe Arizona's defense is that good, folks. We won't know until the season uh, plays itself out. 54 is 26. The extra point is good. Rovetto, who had a good game last year, or last week, he did miss one. Uh, and wow, just like that, Chicago, a little more settled in this week. Maybe they just had some nerves last week. 45, the kickoff is 9. 9 is to the 7. All right, so Denver, who was shut out. These were the two lowest scoring teams. <clears throat> Birmingham has a lightning de delay, and so we decided to telecast this before that. And here we go. Um, the kick return by Faye, 54 is K, is 22. He's going to bring this out 16, out to the 23-yard line. All right, and Denver had to move a, a big tackle, uh, a wide receiver, a uh, quarterback, and a middle linebacker to acquire these players. Uh, Tampa Bay could afford to give them up to get some, some more. Um, Boston certainly uh, in need of uh, an offensive lineman. So Frank Lockett, who can play both uh, back and end, is now adding a B to this team. And Willie Gillespie adding a B to this team. So it's kind of a big deal. And the big one, though, is Jimmy Jordan, as they really were having trouble completing passes with both Hennessy and Reeves. All right, so Jimmy Jordan, what are we going to do first? We're going to test this new offense to Willie Gillespie. Jimmy Jordan going to a target he knew well in Tampa Bay. Drops back, 33. Jimmy Jordan plants, sets up, fires it out to a B. No modifier, no defense. 38 yards, 2, 10, 20, 30, and 6. First down, and holy cow. And remember, as I said, folks, this is not a replay. This is a season play. I may campaign with these teams. We're going to see what I do. I may play more than one season. Uh, we're going to pitch it out to lock. I'm going to do an end run with Lockett. So I have a I have a receiver who's also an HB. So I can freely end run this guy. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to run him versus standard. 61. He gets the carry and he gets tripped up for only one second down. So Denver trying to open up their offense with some razzle dazzle there. Jimmy Jordan's going to pass to their best receiving threat prior to this Wait, uh, Nyozelek, the tight end. Jimmy Jordan is going to be pass versus pass. 42. He drops back, sets 8 plus 1 for the pass. It's 9. It's going to be a pass completion of 15. First down for Denver, down to the 23 yard line. And Jim Jordan, or Jimmy Jordan is looking darn good. He's throwing a 38 and now a 15. Harry Sidney on the pitch out. 15. Sidney's going to. Get around the end for 11 and a first down, 8, 9, 10, 11. So two teams that had trouble doing anything last week are now moving the ball at will. Larry Canada up the gut, 36. Canada gets the handoff, elbow to elbow with the ball, 12. It's going to be nowhere second down. Now that hurts. We're inside the red zone, so all, everybody's a B anyway. We're going to pass it to Willie Gillespie in the corner of the end zone versus pass. 64, Jimmy Jordan drops back, 64, 9. Plus one, 10, 12 yards, touchdown on the button. So Jimmy Jordan passes his first touchdown as a Denver Gold quarterback to Willie Gillespie's first touchdown of the USFL campaign as a Denver Gold receiver. So how about that, Jordan? Pass of 12 to Gillespie. That's a huge deal. So the so right now, considering this team was shut out in week one, uh, it looks like that trade has paid off tenfold. 45, 45 is 7. It's going to be good. And we got a 7-7 ball game here, folks. 
And to be quite honest with you, it doesn't look like any defense at all has showed up. And again, Chicago with a 44-rate defense. Uh, however, not enough to push these teams out of their category. 13 for Spillman. The kickoff is 7. Is 6-yard line. And the return, 51. 51 for Willis is 12. That's going to be a good return. 12 is 19 out to the 25-yard line. All right, the fans here in Chicago thrilled with that opening drive. Not too happy that Denver went right down the field with their new quarterback um, and threw a touchdown pass. We're going to open it up now. We're going to hand it off to Tim Spencer on the sweep. It's going to be 41. Spencer's going to get four yards. Bam, second down. We're going to go ahead and run Tim Spencer again versus the pass defense. 53. 53 is 18. Minus one. 17. He gets eight in the first down. And now the run, the running game looks like it should have last week as well. Time to pass for Tremaine Johnson. 30-40. Drops back. Pats the ball. Oh, wow. Picked off. Greg Landry did this to him last week. That's how they got shut. That's how they were only got six. He threw a pick. Absolutely worst place. 34. If, if anybody knows craps, 34. That's seven. And craps, he crapped out, and he literally has an interception on 34. It's one of the worst places to have an interception. Greg Landry, unbelievable. Picked off. Uh, 23 is 21 yards downfield. So we got to put in here Landry, intercepted. Man, he did this last week. And Chicago fans, a collective groan as he throws 13 and 8. It's picked off by, and Denver has a good defense, which is why they could trade away some guys. Picked off by D8. Oh, their stud cornerback, their left corner. He had W8 that year. So David Martin is definitely their best interceptor. And that means he could take this to the house, I'm sure. Uh, 16. He's also their top punt returner, which I don't use right now. 16. 27. He's going to end up stumbling and losing a yard, but he picked it off. Did. Oh, wait. No, we use R for this. Pardon me. I always do this. 16. Still 27. Um, intercepted by Martin. Loss of one on the return. Denver takes over. And the Chicago fans beside themselves as Landry continues his woes. With interceptions, they got these A receiver, A receiver, B, B, two song bats, and Landry. I'm going to have to just run, run, run with these guys. All right, we're going to go ahead and go back to the air with Jordan. I mean, uh, they traded for this guy. Let's find out. He's going to go for Lockett, the other uh, new acquisition from the Boston Breakers. 41, Jimmy drops back, pats, looks, fires it out. 31 is incomplete. Second down. Jimmy Jordan couldn't get that one done. We're going to go ahead and hand it off to Harry Sidney versus pass. 45 is 18. Five yards for Sidney as he bundles through. It's third and five. We're going to go ahead and uh, hand it off to Larry Canada versus pass. Right up the gut, and he gets great blocks. Four. He's going to rumble for nine and a first down. Big Larry Canada keeps the drive alive. Chicago fans on their feet trying to... Um, uh, boost the defense's morale, but it ain't working so far. We're going to look for this great tight end, Bob Nazolia. He drops back. Jimmy Jordan, uh, 12. It's going to be complete for eight yards, and it's second and two. They're going to be in a run defense, and we're going to take a shot. Play action to Willie Gillespie with Jimmy Jordan. Play action to Harry Sidney. He rolls out to the left, throwing back across his body. 27. No, he tucks it and runs under IU's, the threat of IU's sack. Jimmy Jordan takes to the ground and gets popped. Third and uh, two. He doesn't get anything. Ayu, he tucks it, trying to go under Ayu. Ayu grabs his jersey and twists him down right there at the line of scrimmage. Third and two. We're going to run versus run. Add one to this roll. It is 24. Can't affect that. One yard. He got the first. Nope. Fourth and one. Denver stuck by Chicago's great defense. And they finally hold. We're going to kick a field goal here to Spillman. Oh, three. It's going to be good. Spillman turns that interception into three points with a 36-46, 53-yard field goal for Spillman. And that makes it 10-7 Denver at the end of the first quarter. And holy cow, folks. Chicago's still struggling. 51 on the kickoff is going to be five. Five is a uh, three-yard line. And our kick return man, top man, is Lily Willis. 
34, again, 34 is 25, 13 yards, oof, out to the 16, that is painful, Lenny Willis, painful, all right, Chicago down 10-7 after one, uh, and the new acquisition, Jordan and these receivers looking pretty good for the Denver Gold right now, not bad, all right, Landry likes to turn it over, so we're going to have to buckle down and run the ball, it's going to be Tim Spencer, and 41. Tim Spencer is going to rumble for 35. That's 40 yards. Well, they run pretty well, so I should be doing it. We're going to run Tim Spencer again versus pass defense. 61 is 18. Five more. Bam. It's third and one, just like that. We're going to run Kevin Long versus run defense. 41. 41. We move this up. 133. He's going to fumble. It doesn't matter. We don't modify it, but it's three and a fumble. So he gets the first. One, two, three. And here we are, back to our turnover ways for Chicago. 55, it is D9, recovers it. The other corner, the right cornerback gets a takeaway as he scoops up a fumble, and he cannot return it. So right there, we're going to have another turnover for Chicago. An interception, and now a fumble by Long. Fumble loss recovered by, I just said it, by Miller, Nat Miller. And holy cow, folks, early in the second, and there is a very good chance that Denver's going to jump out to a big lead here. A Jordan trots onto the field, circles up his guys, the crowd roaring, and we're going to hand it off to Larry Canada right out of the gate. 35, he gets the ball, elbow to elbow, eight, six yards. Beautiful run for Canada, second down and four. Wow, Denver, they are definitely, Denver may be a contender. Uh, without these trades. We're going to pitch it out to Harry Sidney versus Standard. 36. 36 is 22. He's going to get two yards. One, two. It is for a third and one. Third and two. Excuse me. Third and two. Um, it's going to be uh, run versus run. Larry Canada. Strength versus strength. 14. 20. Move it up. 121. He gets one yard. That would have been a first if not for that defense. As he would have got three yards. It's now fourth down. They have field goal range. Spielman's going to add to this. Hopefully. 46. Kick is up. Nine. Nine is good. So Spielman adds 19. Uh, let's see here. Spielman. Uh, 29. 36 yard field goal. Point after turnover. So that's two. That's six points after turnover. It's 13 to seven. Chicago, though, still in this ballgame. 46 is 9, kickoff to the 7, and Lenny Willis needs a big return, 41 for Willis, he gets the ball right, goes right, goes left, 33, he's going to cough it up, he is, Chicago has a turnover problem, folks, 16 yards, the ball is loose, 3, 10 and 3, I cannot believe it, he gets ripped, he goes, he goes uh, ankles overhead, the ball slips out, it's recovered by 08. That would be the, um, that was somebody on the offense, so we're good to go. Wow. They recover it. My gosh. Whew. Fortunately for them, because if he turned it over there, uh, Chicago, although their opening drive was flawless, I'm scared to throw with Landry, but we're fumbling the ball. So Tim Spencer, pitch it out. They got a score. 36. Spencer's going to rumble for one yard. Second down and long. We don't have a choice. We're going to throw to Johnson. Pass defense is, in the, is even. So Landry, just don't throw a pick. Oh, Landry drops. Fires a dart for 23 yards. 11, 21, and 2. 30, uh, 23 yards out to the 47-yard line. That's what we're looking for from Landry. Pitch it out to Spencer. It's a pitch out. He gets it. He's tapping his feet. He rumbles toward the sideline. Picks up five yards. Tim Spencer avoiding the big hit there. Um, I'm not giving the ball to Kevin Long again. I promise you that. We're going to go to Bugs. Pass to Bugs versus pass defense. 25. 6. Beautiful pass. 7. 17 and a first down. 13 and 4. Down to the 31 yard line. First down, Bugs. And now. They're only down by uh, six points. So uh, Greg Landry, despite two turnovers, is in this ball game. We're going to pass to Tremaine. 46. He drops back. He sets up 18 minus one for uh, the uh, standard and minus one for an A receiver. 17 incomplete. Second down. 
We're going to hand it off to Tim Spencer right up the gut. A straight slant run. Three, uh, down one, two yards. One, two, third down. Hmm, we got to throw. We got to throw. And we're going to go, um, dang, third and, uh, what do we need? We need eight. Third and eight. Well, we're going to go for the big tight end. Pass versus pass. Let's add one to this uh, number. 24 is 16. Add one, 17. Incomplete. Fourth down. They're in field goal range, though. They're going to trot out Revito. And 65 is 13. I don't think so. No good. Revito misses a kick. He missed one last week, too, folks. On, after a big turnover, he missed one. He missed one here. 29, 39, 46-yard field goal. No good. Man. Ravito, that was a chance for them to start to cut into the lead. They're going to get the ball at the 29-yard line, actually uh, from the point of kick, at the 36. Denver up by six, thanks to two turnovers in uh, Chicago territory. They had to settle for field goals. The Chicago defense is a 44. They managed to hold Denver to two field goals after two turnovers in their own territory. So uh, not good, not good, but... We're going to pass the ball to Gillespie. Jordan drops quick. It's a slant, 56. 56 to 17, incomplete. He's not an A, so it would have been complete had he been an A. If that's Tremaine Johnson, baby, that's a catch. That's how valuable these receiver grades are from incomplete to four yards. We're going to hand it off to Harry City versus pass. 23 is 26, nowhere. Third down. Uh-oh, Denver's struggling now. We're going to hand it off to Larry Canada versus pass. 53, he's going to lower his head and get seven, five yards. Fourth down, and we will punt. This will end the first half. 55, brilliant punt. Oh, I should have coffin cornered it. Darn it. No, 34. Good thing I didn't. 9, 19, 29, and 4. They're going to get it at the 26. This will end, uh, but he could return it. You never know for a big, big score or something. 26. 22, he's going to return it for three, and the gun sounds. One, two, three, and that ends the first quarter with a Denver, or the first half with a Denver punt. Denver, lucky, is going to get the ball to start the second half up by six. Neither one of these teams are still, are still scoring really well. Uh, however, much more production versus last week. Six, six to uh, and nothing for them. They've already scored 13 more points than they did all of last week. Ravetto on the kickoff, and he's missed a kick today. 35-9. It's going to be at the seven-yard line. And here we go. It is Lonnie Fay. 26. Lonnie Fay goes for 19. That's usually not good. 25. We'll take it. 3, 10, 20, and 2. Out to the 32 goes Lonel Fay. First down. All right, Denver. What are we going to do? Well, we're up by six. We want to be smart. Uh, they're in standard to start. It's the best time to throw when teams are playing vanilla, and we are. We're going to throw for Lockett. Drops back, 45, not good. 11, oh, actually, it isn't bad. 11 yards and a first down. And Jordan is looking really good. Tampa Bay may regret the day they traded away Jordan. We're going to throw for Gillespie, uh, uh, former our teammates from Tampa Bay. 23 is 23. Picked off. Well, there it is, folks. Jordan throws his pick. Well, 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 Jordan picked off. And remember, these aren't A receivers. An A receiver would have avoided that. No, 23, never mind. 23 is always an interception. Wow, intercepted by, oh, now Chicago has got a heck of a defense. 46, D11, their free safety picks this off. He had 15, W15. His name is Luther Bradley. Let's see what Bradley does. And 46, he's going to return this 26. That is nowhere, but he got the interception Chicago needed. Remember, Chicago's only down by six. That was the interception we didn't need, intercepted by Bradley. So Jordan, maybe Tampa Bay made the right decision letting Jordan go. So he's throwing a pick now to his former teammate, Willie Gillespie. Tim Spencer is going to get the pitch. 46. Spencer rumbles for one yard. Second down. We're going to run again, Tim Spencer. I'm staying away from Long as he coughed it up. And it's a pass defense. 64 is 17. He's going to rumble for eight. And it is third and one. Third and one. Uh, third and one. I'm thinking about bringing in 
No, third and one. We got to run Ken Long. I hate to do this because the man fumbled, but we got to give him the ball. Run versus run. 65. 65 is 24. We don't modify. He gets one in a first down. So Long shows his value as he pushes through those tacklers and gets that crucial first down. Chicago's only down by six thanks to an interception by Bradley. Tremaine Johnson. Landry's going to take a shot to the end zone here. 23. Drops back. 27. He's on the run. Landry versus Standard. It's whatever he gets. 21. Landry's going to rumble for one and step out at the sticks to avoid the hit. Uh, we're going to hand it to Tim Spencer versus pass. 36. Spencer gets the pitch out. Gets one yard. Uh-oh. Third and eight. We have no choice. Tremaine Johnson's going to even out the defense. 31. Landry needs a good pass. Eight's going to get what he gets. 13 and a first down. 11, 12, 13, first down at the 18-yard line of Denver. The crowd roars as Greg Landry looks like he's found his settled down and found his sweet spot to Tremaine Johnson. We're going to pitch it to Tim Spencer. 15, Spencer's going to rumble for 11 yards. Oh, my God, 8, 9, 10, 11, first and goal at the 17. It's a ball game, folks. We're going to pass the ball to Tremaine versus, oh, wrong defense. Landry, pass to a B receiver inside the red zone, but we're not in the goal line, so it's no modifier. 51 is 7. He may have just thrown a touchdown pass. Yep, touchdown. The very back line of the end zone, a great catch. Tremaine Johnson tiptoeing his feet. Touchdown. The Chicago fans on their feet uh, in unison. 70,000, well, maybe not 70,000. 27,000 fans leap to their feet all at the same time. When they say Tremaine grabbed the back end of that football with his fingertips. And folks, Greg Landry trying to make up for those interceptions. A 17, not 17, 7 yard TD pass to his top receiver, Johnson. And if they make this kick, folks, they're up by one after a rough start. 62 is 9. It's good. And oh, the fans, they see that go through. They see the uh, back judge signal hands in the air and the crowd roars as they now see their team for the first time in their USFL history take a lead in a ball game. Landry, the veteran, finding Trumaine Johnson. Beautiful. 24 on the kickoff is 11 to the 11. Ooh, nice. Here we go. Lonel Lon Fay, 61. 18. He's going to run for 27, 38 yard line. And let me tell you something, folks. The Denver coaching staff on their feet when he zips by the bench, cheering him on, hoping he can take it to the house. Tripped up finally. All right. Jordan has shown maybe why Tampa Bay was willing to part with him. He threw a pick. That is points off turnover for Chicago. Uh, and it is 14-13 Denver with the ball. Here we go. We're not gonna we're not gonna shy away from throwing to Gillespie on first down. 45. He drops back, fires it out. 11, 11 and a first. Holy cow, Jordan! You got to go back to him. Get his confidence up. We're gonna hand it to Harry Sidney. 56. Sidney tucks it in, gets one yard. Second and nine. We're gonna pitch it to Harry Sidney versus pass defense. 35 is 17 minus 1, 16, 11. He rips through, and the fans here groan as they see Harry Sidney hit the edge, stiff arm away a linebacker, and step out of bounds after a pickup of 11. We're going to hand it to Larry Canada up the gut, 41. Big Larry Canada, 31. He's going to go for three yards. We'll take it. One, two, three. Second and seven. We're going to pass it. To uh, Nizloilik, the tight end versus pass. 61 is 27. He's forced to run. Jimmy Jordan on the run. Subtract one from this. 36. We can't modify that. Eight. Jimmy Jordan runs for eight and gets a first down at the 23. The fans here, again, can't believe it. But Jimmy Jordan is earning his, uh, he is earning that reputation for the trade. And it is first down at the 28-yard line. Jimmy Jordan scrambles for a first. We're going to hand it off up the gut to Big Larry Canada. And he's going to lower his head and gets walloped for nothing. Second down. Pitch it to Sidney versus pass. Pitch out Sidney. Skipping, skipping, cuts back. Picks up. Oh, 11 yards. 8, 9, 10, 11. First down. 
And again, the Chicago fans groan as, as Harry Sidney, picking his way through traffic, gets the first down, the ref signal first. And we're now inside the 20, which makes them all Bs. They're all Bs anyway, so we're going to pass the one first as there's no pass defense. And Jimmy drops back, guides left, he had his back pedals to his left, and finds Gillespie standing open for a touchdown. And uh-oh, Jordan's throwing a second TD pass today. This one, also 17. The other one was 12. This one was 17 yards to Gillespie. Second touchdown pass for Gillespie. And it looks like the Tampa Bay Bandits had a lot of weaponry. They traded it away. They may rue the day they traded away uh, Jordan and Gillespie. We're going to find out. Extra points good. This is a uh, straight-up drive. That is 20 to 14. Denver has scored 20 more points than they did in their first week thanks to the acquisition of Jordan, Gillespie, and Lockett. And, of course, some turnovers by Chicago. The kickoff, 54. The kickoff is 15. Going to put the ball at the four-yard line. And they've got the return man, Willis, who's fumbled one today. 31. 31 is 12. Nice. 12 is 19 yards out to the 23-yard line. Man, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, man, man. Absolutely amazing, this USFL set. I have got to thank my, my friend out there again for this gift. I've already This is already my seventh game, and I've only had it for, what, five days, seven days? Uh, Chicago, final drive for Chicago of the third quarter. Can they match? Pass to Tremaine. Drops back. Yep. Oh. Guess what, folks? Standard boxcars, two, A, down one, one, touchdown. Look at that. Greg Landry comes out, drops deep, plants. Kevin Long and Tim Spencer push those defensive ends around. Landry floats up in the pocket and launches a bomb to the speed demon. Tremaine Johnson, touchdown. This one goes... 70, let's see here, that's uh, 77 yards. Landry, with the longest pass in USFL history, pass to Johnson. That's his second touchdown this quarter. Johnson's caught a 7-yarder, and now a 77-yarder. 65 is 21. Ooh, he made it good. P-A-T. What an exciting quarter, folks. It is now 21-20 to end the third. Landry with uh, two touchdown passes, 14 for Chicago in that quarter, and seven. It is, oh wait, we had 13 and seven. So somewhere I missed putting a field goal on the board for Denver. We got a field goal here. Oh, yeah, right, 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 in the third. All right, well, I'm, uh, excuse me. It was 13-7 to seven at half. Um, third quarter, they got 14 points back on track here. Denver scored seven. Folks, going into the fourth quarter, it is 20-21. to 21. Chicago holding on with a narrow one-point lead at home. The fans going bananas as Greg Landry... Walks off the field, calm as a cucumber, as Tremaine Johnson has to has to run him down and give him a bat, pat on the back of the helmet and a high five as Landry's an old vet. He's not into celebrating until they win. And great kickoff by Ravido, 33. This is going to be five. It's going to be at the three-yard line. So Denver, despite their offense being 20 times better than last week, they find themselves down by one as their defense has not performed. Here we go. The return, 33. Oh, this could be huge for Faye. Lonel Faye, 9, 30 yards out to the 33. We will take it. All right, now let's see what old uh, Jordan, Jimmy Jordan, can do. The Denver Gold fan, people, uh, Denver fans watching on TV is that Birmingham game has been delayed due to poor, poor spring weather, lightning storms in Birmingham. 
So fans sitting at home are surprised in Denver to get to see their uh, Denver Gold on <coughs> television in a replacement game. Here we go, folks. Denver, start of the fourth quarter, down by one. We're going to hand it off to Harry Sidney. 51. Harry Sidney's going to rumble for 11 yards again. My God, they cannot stop Harry Sidney. First down. We're going to hand it off to Larry Canada up the gut. 22. Canada's going to rip a big one here. Four, nine yards. Man, we are kicking butt. Six, seven, eight, nine. Second and one. Perfect time to go play action to Frank Lockett, the other new acquisition from the Boston Breakers. He drops, sets, 25 is picked off. Jimmy Jordan just blew it for Denver. Three yards downfield. Oh, my God. Three yards. So it must have been batted at the line by somebody. The ball goes up into the air, and it's coming down. Jordan, his second interception of the day. Who gets this one on a batted ball at the line of scrimmage? D2. No, it's fumble. Excuse me. Uh, 25 is D6. Oh, it's the, it is the strong outside linebacker. Remember, this defense is a 44-ranked defense. His name is Stan White. And he does not have a return. So we're gonna he's gonna pick it off and go down right there. White gets the pick. And that's at least a good thing that Denver doesn't end up giving up a huge return here. Wow, unbelievable. Three yards downfield, batted in the air. We went play action, and somebody, I don't have heights on here, so I don't know who's the big guy. But somebody at that line of scrimmage batted the ball up, and Stan White, the, the weak, uh, strong side backer, picked it off. And the crowd in Chicago now on their feet, cheering in full throat. Landry, they know as Landry comes out to the line of scrimmage to calm down. Chicago fans are savvy football fans. They don't have to be told to quiet down. And Tremaine Johnson, no, excuse me, Tim Spencer on a handoff. Chicago's got a one. Oh, 33 blocks are laid, and he rumbles for 17 3. 10 and 4. First down at the 36. Fans are roaring. Comes out of the huddle. Looks things over. He's going to hand it off to Spencer again for 36. Eight more for Spencer. Six, seven, and eight. It is second down and two. And Chicago up by one. About to put this ball game away. We're going to throw for the great tight end, or the tight end, Paul Ricker, on a play action. 24 is 16 minus one for the defense. Three-yard pass and a first down to the tight end on a little uh, look-in. So he just told, hey, go out there two steps, get in front of the middle linebacker, make the catch. There it is. Greg Landry had one turnover in this game. I thought their woes had started, but he has been absolutely superb. And I've stopped running long, so no more fumbles. Spencer's going to get the pitch out. 31. He's going to rumble for three. One, two, three. It is second down and seven. Uh, we're going to run Tim Spencer again. 12. 12 is 36. Eight more and a first down. Gee, many Christmas. First and goal at the 14. Denver can't stop him. They cannot stop him. Here we go. They're in the red zone. It's going to be standard. So we're going to pass the ball to Bugs, considering it's B anyway, and a standard defense. 12. 35, incomplete, second down for Landry. We're going to hand it off to Spencer up the gut versus pass. 44, Spencer may score here, 16, 17, 8 yards. It is third and two. Spencer skips out for eight. He's having a great day, but it's still third and two from the six-yard line. They're going to be in a run defense. Uh, I don't know if I want a chance to pick here. He throws an interception, remember, on, 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 on uh, number seven. Well, on a 3-4, uh, but still, that is, no matter how you cut it, that's a popular number. Uh, so we're going to run uh, long, and long, I think, fumbles. No, he doesn't. So we're going to run long. If this is a 34, you'll see why I did it. They're in a run D. No, 16. 16 is 25. No change. Bam. Doesn't get it. It's fourth down. They're going to kick a field goal. This puts the game almost out of reach. It'll give them a four-point lead. Snap, kicks up, nine, it's good. This is a 13-yard, uh, 13, excuse me, 23-yard um, field goal for Ravido, who's missed one today. And that's a point-off turnover again. 20 to 24, Chicago fans in full, uh, full celebration. 33, brilliant kick, five, three-yard line. 
as they see now their team go up late in the, or midway through the third, or about the six-minute mark of the third, and their team is up by more than a field goal. 23 is 23. Oh, no. 15 yards out to the 18. All right, Jordan, over from Tampa. They have produced 20 more points than they did all of last week, but Jordan has thrown two second-half interceptions. So, Tampa may have been wise to part with him. Denver, though, wise to get him as they have been more productive. Jordan has thrown two touchdowns today, but he's also thrown two picks. What are you going to do? Harry Sidney's going to get the rock. They need a touchdown. 22, great block. Sidney goes for 17. First down at the 35-yard line. Outstanding. The crowd here suddenly quiet. Larry Canada, handoff up the gut, 42. The big backs are going to take over now, 8. Six yards. One thing we can do is run with these guys. We're going to go with Larry Canada again versus pass defense. 42. 42 is 8. 7. 7 is 5 and a first down. Larry Canada driving now for Denver. Denver does not have to panic. They're only down by 4. Pitch it to Harry Sidney. Harry Sidney goes for 17. 17 is 8 yards. Second and 2. Last time we play action here to lock it, it was picked off. Guess what? We're going to play action to the tight end. Why? Because I'm a, I love the play action. When you're running that well, drops back, 56. Don't tell me. 56 is 17. Wrong defense. Minus one. Four yards? Yep, four yards and a first down. The play action, uh, again, tight end waggle. Wide open in the flat. Catches it, steps out, first down. Larry Canada up the gut, 56. Lowers his head, picks up nothing, gets hammered in the backfield by this strong defense. We're going to run Larry Canada again versus pass. 12, I like this guy. 8 yards, and now you see why. Rumbles out for 8, 3rd and 2. 3rd and 2. We almost have to play action. They're going to be in a run defense. We are. We're going to play action to Willie Gillespie. See if we can throw our third touchdown of the day. 42. 42 is 8. Uh, minus one for the defense, seven. It's going to be complete for 17 yards, nine and eight. First down at the 17. And the crowd here, loud but nervous. Pitch out to Harry Sidney, 63, 29. He's going to get hammered for a loss of two. That is a killer. Second down. Larry Canada up the gut versus pass defense. 34 is not good either. 24, one yard. Uh-oh, third and 11. Not good. Now we're in a situation. They're all B's anyway. It's a passing situation. We need four. We have no choice. This is two down territory. We must we must get half of it. And if we have to, the other half, because it's over if we don't score a touchdown here. We're passing the lock it. Pass versus pass, which means we're going to add one to Jimmy Jordan. 32. That is not good. 33 is a fumble, 23 yards in the end zone, touchdown, cannot fumble a touchdown pass, Jordan to Lockett finally, he tried to go to Lockett, was picked off earlier, here it would have been a fumble, he catches it, gets popped, balls loose, but they signal first, a touchdown, and it was 18 yards, 18 yard pass to the other acquisition this week, Lockett, over from the Boston Breakers, they are now up by three with this kick, Oh, no, they're not. Oh, that's a return man. Let's get, let's get our stuff together here. 32 might still be bad. 34. Oh, they fumbled. Six, minus six and a fumble. It's an extra point, so the ball is dead. He fumbled the extra point kick. No good. Gee, many Christmas. That makes it 26 to 24. And you know what stinks about that, folks? Chicago's final drive, if they can get a field goal, they're going to win this game by one in another tight, tight game. It is 26-24. Spillman, somebody, uh, the Jimmy Jordan, no, the punter probably holding the ball would have been, yeah, Jimmy Jordan is the holder. Jimmy Jordan fumbled the snap. Welcome to the new team, right? He's not accustomed to being here. He's not used to handling the snap from that center, that long snapper. 36 is the kickoff. Man, oh man, 9. This is crucial because they only need a field goal now to win, folks. The door is left cracked open for Chicago. The kick return is 54. The fans on their feet cheering as they know now with, with the two-minute, this is the two-minute warning. Uh, 
25 is 13 yards out to the 20. The crowd knows there's a hole, uh, uh, open door. There's the two-minute warning. A field goal can win it for them. They are 0-1. Both these teams are 0-1, both coming off miserable first weeks of turnovers and no scoring. And we are going to open it up right out of the gate. Greg Landry's going to take a shot versus, and it's going to be incomplete, second down. No, wait, uh, 16, four yards, pardon me, second and six. Handoff to Spencer versus pass, 32. He gets the carry, 35. He's going to rumble for four more. And it is now third and three, third and three. I'm going to have to roll for the defense here, third and three. We're going to pass the Bugs on third and three. And the defense is going to be wrong. Can you believe it? So Landry's going to get to subtract one from his PRN. 36 is 18. Subtract one, 17. Incomplete. Batted away, fourth down. They need to get in field goal range. We have to go for it. We're going for Tremaine. That's going to cancel out the pass defense. 63 is 32. 32 is incomplete. The ball falls harmlessly dead. Turnover on down. Time expires. And Denver... Uh, uh, celebrating on the sidelines, coaches and players. Jimmy J uh, Jordan is is surrounded by teammates, and Willie Gillespie's hoisted up on the shoulders of some linemen as he's caught two touchdowns from Jordan. These guys coming over from Tampa, and we got a we got a new season underway for Denver. Chicago, great game. Unfortunately, couldn't get it done with Landry in the final drive. And uh, Rivetto with a field goal made this game look like it was over, but then a six point score, 26. They go to one and one, does the Denver Gold. 21 24, they fall to 0 and 2. Chicago at home. That is a heartbreaker, folks. USFL game seven. Let's go back and look. Uh, matter of fact, Jimmy, just so you know, Jordan was six. Uh, Jordan on the. On the so last week, Jordan was 13-24, 205 yards and a touchdown. Um, and Gillespie did not catch a pass. So he helped Tampa get their opening win. Now he's helped Denver get a win. Uh, but, but he isn't their starting quarterback, ironically. I started Jordan over, uh, I can't remember who the darn guy is now. but um, So let's see here. So Chicago lost in Arizona 9-6 in a, do in a dog fight. And Arizona's horrible, 33-31. But they ended up with one, two, three turnovers by Landry. Literally, that's it. I mean, you can't win if you turn it over three times. Landry with two fumbles rushing as he scrambled away from Tresher and fumbled it away and then threw a pick to Walker to wrap the game up. And then, of course, Denver had a miserable day. Um, they just couldn't score. There was just punt, 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 punt. Oh, no, they did fumble. That was a punt return fumble. Punt, fumble, punt, punt, punt. Spillman with a... Uh... Oh, they weren't shut out. Spillman hit a field goal last week? Whoops. <laughs> See, that's why i got to check my work. Whoa, it, he hit a field goal. My gosh, man, i got to pay attention. And then Williams had a run. Mortensen threw a pick. That was it. So uh, Mortensen, their quarterback, threw a pick, and that ended it. There it is. So it was. They weren't shut out. I'm sorry about that. I thought I thought it was shut out. So last week they lost ten to three, and this week they scored twenty three more points with Jordan and Gillespie. And uh, again, Landry has a couple turnovers. Jordan throws a couple of interceptions. But that final pass to Lockett, they missed the extra point on a fumbled snap or a fumbled hold. But folks, Denver's thrilled. The trade has paid off so far. Thanks for watching. Good day.